Well, we've all heard it before that old growth lumber is better than the new lumber that we're using today. So I thought I would go ahead and do all of my viewers a favor and try to figure out what the compressive strength is for the old growth, what it is for the new growth, and what's actually required by the engineers who created the span charts for rafters and floor framing. And according to them, the minimum compression PSI rating for a 16 foot long floor joist is going to be 237 PSI. And for a longer floor joist, like a 24 foot long floor joist, it's going to be 356 PSI. So the minimum compression rating will vary depending upon the length of the lumber. And now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and throw out some more numbers. The new growth number, according to one survey that was done by a university, suggested that old growth Douglas fir, they did not give the age of the lumber or where it was cut down or all this other stuff that probably makes a big difference also, was tested with a 567 PSI rating. The new lumber at a 464 PSI rating. And if the minimum I need for a 24 foot floor joist is only 356 PSI, then I don't think it's really gonna make that big of a difference whether I use old growth or new growth lumber. Now keep in mind that I've seen a lot of things over the years. And one of those is when someone else is trying to push someone else's agenda and make you believe something that might not be a big deal in the first place. So until these new homes start falling down because of the compression strength of the joist and the roof rafters, then I won't worry about using old Douglas fir lumber or reclaiming used lumber from an old house. And it's often harder to cut. And I can't tell you how many times you're going to split that lumber when you go to drive a toenail into it. And maybe that is because the compression strength is higher on the older lumber. And I really didn't spend a lot of time researching this. If you have other information, feel free to leave it in the comment area. And if I get enough of it, I will definitely make a follow-up video.